Right guys and girls, welcome back. It is Sunday the 20th of December 2020 at the time of the video and today we are doing our next video uh, for today for the Xbox Series S. Now this is the new Xbox just recently came out. It's only a small little tiny thing. I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't say tiny but it's a lot smaller than the S, Xbox One S. Um, I presume it's actually, yeah, it's way smaller than the Xbox One X as well. Um, and also it's much smaller than the Xbox One and also the Xbox um, Series X as well. Um, so in this episode, we are going to be testing out DC Universe Online. Uh, this was a request uh, made by a friend of mine um, who wanted me to sort of like test it out, see how it goes. Now, so what we're going to do, we're on the main menu of the Xbox here already. Because um, I want to know what the loading times are. So I'm going to do the loading times on here from getting in to the game, from getting out. And then this will give you a prospective view as soon as I go on. Right, so one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, let's go nine, about nine seconds. Eight, nine seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so about five seconds there getting in to the second bit. So about eight, five seconds, eight seconds. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it would take more than 10 seconds to get in. Now, um, so we go, all right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go, so about 10 seconds altogether. Now, this is the bit my friend wanted me to show, um, because this is where it gets quite interesting um so hang on. if i can get so if i can get back here let's go past these because this is where um i want to go back to that entrance at the start on dc universe and i'll just show you uh this is with the ssd in it on the xbox one so if I go in here, and two seconds, one, two, three, four, five, it's about five seconds, give or take. So that is pretty quick. Um, a friend of mine also, the same uh, friend of mine, he uh, bought me the Fire Cuda a while back, and I did a review um, talk on the speeds on that. I would have done a lot more games. Uh, for the Fire Cuda, because uh, it was brilliant anyway, it was loading up. It's like a sort of an SSD style super um, drive as well, like a super drive SSD, solid state drive. So it was basically had, I think it was over a terabyte or two terabytes or something like that on the hard drive. That was on the PlayStation 4. Um, because this is, um, I've got more time a little bit, I look at that drifting a little bit as well. I've got my controller down. It started moving by itself. And this is what I, I don't like as well. I find it's still got the um, drifting inside the, the Xbox controller. If you leave it to, uh, to itself, sometimes it drift. I've been playing that, um, what's it called, that 2077 Cyberpunk. And there's some slight drifting. It might be to do with the game. I'm not too sure because... Um, or it could be to do with the controller, but many people have actually had this like sort of problem going on with the drifting on the controllers. All right, so we're going to go back out here a second for outside. One, two, three, four, five. So five seconds. So that's your average of getting out the door. Now I don't know whether about going when I progress to go forward go into other maps i will do some more testing on this one because this is a very interesting of a benchmark um for load times and all that but i'm thinking if every, everyone else is in the game at the same time surely 
right? Um, then there's going to be some sort of waiting time for it. So if someone's got like a slower drive, maybe they're on the Xbox original or, or the Xbox One, I mean. Um, or maybe they've got a, a crappy PC they're playing on because I think this is backwards compatible with the PC as well. Um, I don't know what the actual um, resolution is. I don't know if they've updated... Uh, their resolution on this game if they haven't they should because this would actually i mean they should update it to like 4k or something i mean it's an old game now so it should be able to run off a potato to be honest like i mean it is an old game i mean if you up the resolution a little bit maybe hdr and all that high dynamic range maybe add some ray tracing in it as well so you could see all the water patterns on the floor and all that or maybe some of the stonework that would be quite cool because um right out the box apparently the xbox series s is supposed to actually have ray tracing out of it but i think it's down to the developers the, the game uh, developers themselves to implement it and to do it correctly um also if you're putting 4k games uh, uh, actually the series s apparently can actually do 4k games as well but I would say it's probably much like much older games like the Xbox 360 because they're backwards compatible. They're easier to sort of upscale to 4K. And also maybe some Xbox One games or maybe all the Xbox One games from the original collection might be able to play on here. Um, but I don't know yet. But anyway, guys and girls, do let us know um, if you've got any recommendations for game load time benchmarks which games you want me to actually check out next uh, a friend of mine also wanted me to check out that diablo 3 but unfortunately i haven't got that in my collection and also i've almost used up my entire 512 gigabyte ssd inside and i haven't got another hard drive until i get a wire because at the moment i've got one of these like xbox um game drives uh, by Seagate which is an Xbox original and that actually uh, does games on there um, onto the hard drive but if, uh, if you want the benefits of the fast load types it's either you've got two options you either buy the SSD um, expansion cards which are like 200 quid but you get a one terabyte I think it's a bit of a rip off to be honest in my honest opinion because uh, you could pick up an 8 terabyte uh, standard uh, gaming drive for probably around about the same price of 200 quid. Um, and it's, I mean, obviously, yeah, well, we know that SSDs are much faster and you're getting the quality with it. But I think, to be honest, they've came out of the ballpark, like sort of wanting people to pay all these expensive prices. You buy the console and then they say, well, we've got you now. Because you're going to have to get the expansion pack as well. Because you've only got 512 gigabytes. And you can only put like 7, 8 games. 10 games if you're lucky on that. Because especially if you're playing uh, FIFA 21. You're playing Cyberpunk. Uh, which is, And you're playing sort of uh, the Halo Master Chief Collection. Those All those gigabytes add up in the end guys and girls. But anyway. So yeah. So uh, the, the end of this video. It's about five seconds for the load times in and out about five seconds in five seconds out that is pretty impressive i am impressed and also the the, the last video i just put on with the xbox um series s of the load times when it shoots up and all that when you turn on and off um it is about three seconds four seconds three to four seconds it's amazing fast speeds I mean, this is what we've been waiting for, but obviously we've got to pay out of our asses now if we want to keep on having the enjoyment. And because of the pandemic now and then the lockdown now, number three coming into uh, place, I don't think anyone's going to have any money to sort of buy these new consoles now and games. And I think, to be honest, they should have left the Xbox Series S and the X and the PlayStation for a little bit later down the road. Because there is a lot of bugs going around now on the Xbox and PlayStation. Where it's basically bricking consoles as well. And people were expecting to pay all that money. So they can get themselves a brick basically. 
Uh, is that what they're telling us? But anyway, guys and girls, cheers for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, do like, favourite, share, comment, subscribe. I actually am playing on my 4K BenQ uh, 32.1 inch screen. It is a 4K HDR 10 plus and it's amazing. I think uh, one of my friends who's a YouTuber as well, Mr. 4K Upskelly, he uh, reckons it's the same one. I think it is as well because... Um, and this is like the whole sort of, because uh, this is like, it's almost like bezel-less on the thing. But obviously, I mean, it's not bezel-less because you've got the sort of bezel uh, around the screen. But I'm going to also do some benchmarking on this. The HDR is just mind-blowing on it. I think I paid like 400 quid um, pound or something on it when uh, it was on Black Friday. So it's just amazing. But anyway... I'll see you on the next episode, guys and girls. Cheers for watching. See you soon.